thank you for gathering here. Let's get down to business. I'm offering you a deal. I'll tell you the name of the Malgré heir. Then this castle will remain untouched. In return, you'll inoculate my boss against all diseases. Agreed? First, you have to tell us the name of the heir. Biting your boss is easy. Brandon is your heir. Brandon? Can you prove it? Yes, I accidentally found this letter in the boiler room in a stack of waste paper used to light the furnace. It discusses the appearance of a baby in this castle over a hundred years ago. That baby is Groundsman Brandon. Though illegitimate, he is your sister Mary's son, sir, meaning he is all Malgré, flesh and blood. Then why didn't we know about this letter? That I don't know. But I've not finished yet. A photograph was attached to the letter. It's a photo of Mary, a baby, and some gentlemen. Do you have pictures of Brandon as a baby? We can compare them, and you'll see that it's the same child. Let's try that. Hello everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to Vampireville. So we have a new development. We've probably found the heir. I don't know. Um, but Michael is on to something and we have to find the differences between these two photos right now. There are definite similarities, but all children look alike. We can't risk making a mistake. If we had your blood sample, we could analyze the DNA, to be sure. Unfortunately, there is no blood sample in the castle, and getting it from me in my condition is quite impossible. Could we use hair instead of blood? Somewhere in the parlor, there must be a locket with a lock of the Duke's hair. That should work. Okay, now we're going to compare Brandon's DNA to the Duke's. Okay, and now we have a sample of Brandon's blood. Let's see. Okay. There's an equal sign there. Science has proved me right. Incredible. Michael, it looks like you've succeeded where we failed for a hundred years. I don't know how to express my gratitude. From this day forward, you shall always be a welcome guest here in the castle. Glad to be of help. We'll keep our end of the bargain. You can tell Mr. Rockwell that we'll cure him. Grenfield will take care of it. <laughs> All we have to do is see Brandon and we can finally depart from this world. Michael, I need your help. Come to the storeroom with me. Michael, I've decided to write a will. Are you retiring? Yes. Now that the heir's been found, I'll leave with my masters. So, I need the help of an experienced lawyer. I just couldn't decide how to allocate my possessions. Let's collect all my drafts. Then we can work on the final version. <laughs> Gather all a couple of drafts of Rover's will. Okay. There's the last piece. I like this version best. It's not written very clearly, though. Could you please edit it for me? 
Edit the will by arranging the lines of text in the correct order. Okay. I, St. Bernard Rover, being of sound mind and body, hereby bequeath all my earthly possessions to my friend Michael Christensen in hopes that he will dispense his money wisely, and hereby attest that this will, will is to be executed upon my departure from this world. Rover. Thank you, Rover. I wasn't expecting this. Don't mention it. What will I need this money for? Goodbye, Michael. Please make sure my money gets distributed. That's it. Time to go join my owners. All right. Let's get the money out. Oh, that's kind of sad. <laughs> Looks like Rover wasn't a poor dog. Time to check on the boss. Okay, we'll stop here for now for this session. Thanks, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.